Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be featuring my sister. I'm going to be installing this curly closure wig using glue. So stay tuned if you want to see how I did this install. <laughs> this is how the wig came it already came pre-bleached this company is called ronnie hair i did collaborate with them before with the curly wig and that wig was actually really nice that's how the inside of the wig looks and the outside it is a fake scalp wig but today since we're gluing it down i wasn't interested in having the fake scalp on so i'm just taking my time to cut off the little clear thread that they use because we're going to be melting this lace onto her skin and this is how it's looking I'm putting some of the foundation on the inside. I'm using my same Ruby Kisses two-sided foundation in the color 14. And I'm going to use some Got To Be to sleek her natural hair back. And try pulling your cap as far as possible. I'm taking the wig and I'm just marking out where I would need to sew. Since it's a closure, we don't have to do the full frontal, just the top area of the ear. So brow to brow. And then I'm spraying some Got To Be just to stick that cap down. And she's going to blow dry that on cool air for about 7 minutes. I'm going to sew it using nylon thread because if you notice, I did sew it with regular thread and that was just not doing it for me. So make sure you use nylon thread because it's more small and it's more durable. And then I'm going to cut the cap off. Take your time while doing this and make sure you don't cut their edges if their edges are peeking out and their hair once i do that i'm gonna go in with 91 percent alcohol on a cotton thing and just wipe out her forehead i'm using the erica j hold me down skin guard skin guard and her adhesive to glue this wig down today i'm slicking the cap down with some of the glue first just a little bit to make sure that the cap is nice and sleek on the front and that there's no little rolly pieces and i'm going to cut off the little side areas of the closure and this is going to help it have a seamless transition from the baby hairs on the sides we're using the elastic band that is inside of the wig to make sure that this wig is nice and snug and as you can see this looks good so far i did have the aperture on my camera up a little bit too much so it might look a little bit white but it's perfect i'm going to go ahead and apply this glue three times making sure that it turns clear in between application and try not to put it down too much on the face try to keep most of the glue on the cap oh and i'm using one of those wax popsicle sticks to apply this because it just makes it go on way way nicer blowing it on warm air and then applying it one last time and make sure you don't apply too much because you can go in and apply some more after you put the lace on. So just try putting a little bit and then you can do touch-ups. You're going to see me do some touch-ups a little bit later. So make sure you use a lot of tension when you're pulling this lace into the glue and this is going to help the glue to melt in and this is what makes it look more like skin because that glue is going through the little tiny holes in the lace and it's like making it look nice and seamless like scalp. While I'm pushing it down, I'm making her blow it with warm air and this is going to help with the melting process as well and then I'm going in and doing my same scissor method. As you can see, I'm not closing the scissors at all. I'm just gliding it down and this is going to give it a jagged edge. I'm going to just pull the hair back and clip it down and you're going to see the front lifting up right there. That's the area where I didn't put too much glue because I didn't want it to be too much for her hairline. I want it to be nice and perfect. So this is the touch-ups that you would like to do on yourself and your client. So don't put too much glue because then it's going to be messy and the hair is going to stick to it. Blow it on hot air, of course. 
and then i'm going to part out the front because i'm going to do some edges it's a personal preference if you don't like edges i still recommend doing this part and just brushing the hair back but make sure you do this part we're using an elastic band to apply some tension to the front of the hair and this is going to help with the melting process even more so this is how it's looking so far i'm going in with some of that foundation and a little bit of lace tint just to help this blend a lot more so it's not too light and then i'm going to use my razor comb to cut out the edges we're going to tie it down one last time and i'm going to use Bio Silk Therapy just to give the hair a nice smell and a silky shiny look and I'm going to put it all over the hair. I'm using my Kara Care Wax Stick and we're going to hot comb the roots of this hair. This is going to make the, the install look so good because it's flattening. It's going to make it flat to her head like her real hair. This hair is really really pretty and they pre-colored this hair so I love that. Taking a little bit more in my hand and I'm going to use that to sleek down the top. And you want to apply a little bit of pressure just to make sure that it's nice and smooth. Then remove the band and we're going to start getting ready to do our edges with this install i am not using any foam i am using hairspray and an edges brush so go back and forth with cutting and making sure that it's to your liking everybody is different and i know some people are not gonna like edges so just do it as you please and always use your finger to guide you and to sleek the hair down And then tie it one last time blow it on hot air for about four minutes and then blow it on cold air for two minutes and this is how it's looking it's nice and seamless to her skin everything it's perfect in my eyes comment down below like this video if you're liking this install so far and if it's helping you i'm going to spray a little bit of water just to get the curls going and i'm going to use the lot of body mousse to tame the hair because she wants it to be sleek don't forget to check my description box i will have the link to this wig down below if you guys are interested or if you don't know how to color your hair they have this wig pre-colored for you so that is very convenient and this is how it's looking this is the back of the wig nice and curly everything is sleek it's looking very natural and this is how long it is my sister is 5'7 and this wig is very long on her so it's true to length I will have all the specs to this wig in the description box below this is the hairline and yeah you can part this wig any way you want but we just wanted it to be in the middle and you can see this lace is nice and thin and it's soft so this was a good install make sure you like this video i will have ronnie hair links in the description box so you guys can check them out if you're interested very quick and easy install to do this wig and the hairline is perfection okay guys thank you for checking me out i will definitely see you in my next video bye